This video tutorial is going to show you how to configure the outbound SMT email server for Trackit. Uh, Trackit has some functions in the help desk and some er other areas where automatic emails go out to users to let them know when work orders are overdue uh, or to let them know that other events have occurred. And there are SMTP settings here in Trackit which you have to configure to make all of that work. So it's really pretty simple. Uh, the first thing you, you need to do is get into the administration console. There are two ways to get into there. You can go through Tools, Administration Console from the menu, or you can press F9 and uh, that will get you in there as well. So once we're in the Administration Console, you just go under Configuration, Administration, and you'll notice there's an Email Configuration node. Under that node, there's an SMTP Configuration node, and here's where we set this up. So for the example here, I'm actually going to use a Gmail uh, account for a couple of reasons. Well, first of all, just to show you how to configure the SMTP email server here, but uh, the reason I use Gmail is because it actually requires a secure connection, so there's a little extra customization you have to do, and uh, I want to show that so people can see how to do that. It's really pretty easy, though. So, really, for the, for the port number here, the 25 is the default email port, but for Gmail, for secure authentication, you have to use port 587. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Then I'm going to check the box here that says it requires an uh, encrypted connection and that we require authentication. And then I'm going to enter my uh, email address that I have for our test here today. We're going to test track at email at gmail.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And you'll notice here that track it tells you that the passwords have to match so there's there's checking here to make sure that you don't make a mistake to help you out and you'll notice that once I have entered the two passwords exactly the same that that indicator goes away now we have a send test email button so you can check your configuration so I'm gonna go ahead and click that it's gonna ask me if I wanna save my changes so sure I wanna do that then it's gonna ask me where I wanna send the test email so I'm going to go ahead and enter the same address that I used for my other example here. I'm going to click OK. It should take a second here just to go out and authenticate and send the test email. Oh, and there you go. So email has been successfully sent. So really, that's it. Uh, it's, it's that simple. So now any automated emails that need to go out from Trackit will be sent out through this uh, email account. Well, one other quick thing I want to show you is we have the option here where you can customize the return address for those emails and the name that's going to appear in your email for those uh, emails that go out. So you could customize this and say I want this to come from you know my company help desk uh, or you can you can also change this you know maybe your your help desk address is a uh, help desk at you know the company domain com. So you can customize the return addresses for these emails to all go back here. So if somebody responds, it'll come back to the right place. And you can also customize the, the name that it comes from. So that's it. Uh, pretty simple. And I uh, hope this video was helpful to you.